today we're going to talk about the erythrocytosis versus polycythemia. What's the difference? Is that polycythemia is not the same thing as secondary erythrocytosis? Well, but if you if you take the etymology of the word, polycythemia means many uh, cells. Erythrocytosis means many red blood cells. What is your opinion on, on things, basically? Well, we have to say that it's also genetically predisposed because not everybody uh, reacts the same, but it is a secondary erythrocytosis because of the stimulus of the androgens that boost EPO and as a result bone marrow. Mm. It doesn't happen to everybody. There are some fortunate people that never go up higher than 50. There are other people like myself who never dropped below 49, for instance. Never. Oh, I never donated. I, ne I never had a reason to. Like fibrinogen, all these other factors. Fibrinogen now is another factor produced by the liver. Smoking elevates fibrinogen. Anabolic steroids elevate fibrinogen. <clears throat> Why 20 year old guys who, who, who are stuck on uh, gear, they don't elevate erythrocytosis as often as 40 year old guys who just use 200 milligrams of testosterone. Oh, endothelial dysfunction that leads to hypoxia that triggers EPO. But Even though you don't have fibrinogen, you don't have platelets, you still have a lot of erythrocytes that may struggle to pass through the tiny capillary network. So in that case, you need more flexibility on the cell membrane through pentoxifilin or DHEA EPA. That performing two frequent donations, uh, for instance, every month, will, will be a negative feedback for further stimulation because the, the system uh, suspects any anemia, you know, and the loss of blood. Yeah. That's why you lose ferritin, you, you lose iron and ferritin, you feel fatigued. And all of these, there isn't enough evidence for anyone to say this is absolute currently. That you can't say this causes this, you've got a high risk of this. It's basically people looking at the theory and saying, this is what I think. But there isn't, because you've got people cutting around, walking around with high amounts of crit, not having clots. Yeah. What about those cyclists for the Tour de France who use EPO and reach 20 and 60? About Hematocrit and people on TRT? Yes, yes, it's a, a it's steroid induced uh, erythrocytosis, either from anabolic steroids or testosterone. How could something that's improving my health and well being uh, that your body would also make cause me to have these negative cardiovascular events? That you have to mind, this is one of the most common side effects. And it potentially could cause issues. This incident may occur. But we don't know Always. fully yet. So like everyone has an opinion, but you, it could go either way, sort of thing. Okay. Polycythemia is vera. Heterocytosis is even by hypoxia, by smoking, by high altitude, or by uh, androgens. The chronic erythrocytosis may elevate your uh, blood pressure. Just George, should, yeah. should, should, we, should you be worried about masculine hemoglobin on CRT? Find out next. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell um, if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you.